route groups in Next.js. This video is going to cover what exactly those are, why they're useful, and then I'm also going to get into building just like a demo application of showing you an example of how these actually work and how these are kind of useful. So first off, route groups, they're basically ways to just organize your different route segments in Next.js. And if you haven't seen my other videos on routing in Next.js as well as layouts, those would be helpful prior to watching this one. But usually when you create a folder in Next.js, and as you can see in their docs here, folders are normally mapped to URL paths. So within your app folder, if you create a folder called dashboard, that is going to create a route for your application in which if you navigate to board slash dashboard, then that is going to show the page within your dashboard folder that you've created within your overall app. However, what if you want to kind of organize your project into different folders and put these route segments into different folders, but you don't want to influence your kind of route path? Well, that's where you can use route groups. So route groups allow you to kind of organize your project, but you don't affect the URL path structure. So as their docs say, route groups are useful for organizing routes into different groups by section, intent, or team, enabling nested layouts in the same route segment level, and creating multiple nested layouts in the same segment, adding layout to a subset of routes in a common segment here. So the way that these work are, you can define a route group by wrapping a folder's name in parentheses. So left parenthesis, folder name, right parenthesis. And then some examples of kind of how this looks here is, say we have our project here and in our overall app directory, we have our layout.js to create a root layout here. But then here they have a few different routes. So they have an about page, they have a blog page, so about folder, blog folder with page.js within here to create the forward slash about route and the forward slash blog route. And then they also have an account page or an account folder with the page.js creating the forward slash account route. Now, what if you wanted to put the about and blog directories into their own folder to kind of organize them, maybe into a marketing folder? but you didn't want the route to then change to forward slash marketing, forward slash about, and forward slash marketing, forward slash blog. You wanted to just organize them into this folder, but you didn't want to actually affect the kind of route URL. Well, here you can just add a folder with parentheses. So left parenthesis, marketing, right parenthesis, and place your about and blog directories within that marketing folder. And since you use the convention of wrapping it in parentheses, it's not going to affect your route segments. So you can see even when these about and blog directories are within your marketing folder, their route here stays the same. It's still forward slash about forward slash blog. And the same thing when you put the account directory into a shop folder here. Since you use the parentheses here, it's still staying at just forward slash account. So you can use these to organize your project without affecting your route segment. Now, this can also be helpful for layouts. So it mentions even though routes inside marketing and shop share the same URL hierarchy. So you can see about blog and account, they're still at like your root level of your app. It's just forward slash about blog and account. They're not at different kind of layers of your app hierarchy there. And it would be kind of hard for you to uh, apply a layout to just about and blog without applying that layout to account. However, with using these route groups, it now gives you the ability to kind of do what you want there. So here we still have our root layout, which our root layout would still apply to our about blog and account pages here. But now within the marketing folder, you can add a layout.js file and that will just apply your layout to your about and blog routes, your routes within your marketing folder here. And you could do a similar thing in the shop folder, adding a layout within that and having it only apply 
to the routes within your shop folder and not in the marketing folder. And then if you wanted to add more segments into or opt them into that layout, well, you can just add them into that route group and have that layout applied to those different route segments. And this would also allow you to create multiple root layouts. The root layout is the top level layout in your app directory. So usually right within your app folder, you have a layout.js and that gets applied to all of your route segments. But what if you have a situation in which you want to have a completely different layout for like two separate parts of your app? So maybe on your shop page, you want that to look kind of completely different than other areas of your app. Maybe your shop page, you don't need your header and your side navigation. You just want it to be your kind of e-commerce shop. But everywhere else in your app you want, your kind of header and side navigation. Well, to do that, you can just create two different top level route segments and it doesn't have to be two. You could have a, a whole bunch if you want, but you could create two top level route segments. And as long as you have a layout.js file in each route segment there, and you make sure that one of those route segments still defines your HTML and body tags, then you can remove your root layout. So here in this example, they remove their root layout or layout.js that would just be in their app folder. And they have a layout.js in their marketing and their shop route groups still define the HTML and body tags needed for each of those kind of route layouts because you no longer have that within your root layout.js file. And then just a few things that are good to know here that they mention in their docs, the naming of route groups has no special significance other than organization. They do not affect the URL path. Routes that include a route group should not resolve to the same URL path as other routes. So this is a good kind of like got you to remember. So in the kind of examples above, in our kind of marketing route group, if we have an about directory and a page.js, well, that's just going to be forward slash about. But then in our shop page, if we have an about directory with a page.js, that is still going to be the route forward slash about. So this will cause an error because in your marketing route group, you have an about route and you have the same exact thing in your shop route group. And since both of these resolve to forward slash about, that would cause an error. So just be careful of that. And then if you use multiple root layouts without out a top level layout.js file, your home page.js file should be defined in one of the route groups. For example, app forward slash your marketing route group and then page.js. And then navigating across multiple route layouts will cause a full page load. For example, navigating from forward slash cart, it uses the shop route group to the forward slash blog that uses the marketing route group will cause a full page load. This only applies to multiple root layouts. So only when you're using multiple root layouts there. Okay, so that is an overview of route groups, but now let's kind of start up just a demo project here and kind of show you how these work in our actual kind of code base here. So here within VS Code now, I'm just gonna run MPX create next app latest, and we're gonna spin up a new project here and I'm gonna go through these different prompts here. So I'm going to just name this route groups, I'm not going to do TypeScript, not going to worry about ESLint, not going to worry about Tailwind, not going to do an SRC directory. We are going to use the app router and we do not want to customize the default import alias. So we'll get this spun up here and we do have this. And now I'm just going to go to my file and open. I'm going to open up route groups here. So I now have this open within VS code here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a few different directories here and then start adding them to different route groups. So here, let's go ahead and add a new folder and we'll just call this, maybe we'll do a similar thing that they, they did. So we'll do dashboard and then within dashboard, let's add a new folder. We'll just do page.jsx and as you know, and I'm going to move this down so you can see my you know, where I'm at a little bit easier. But as you know, I like using JSX just for the icons alone. So we're going to do that. But I'm going to call this export default function. If I could type today dashboard. And then we're just going to return an H1 that says dashboard page. Okay. And we're going to copy this. So copy. And then we're going to paste this in our app directory here to create another folder. 
and we're going to rename this and call this shop. And then within page.jsx here, I'm going to just call this shop page. And then I kind of forget what their other page was, but let's just do blog. So I'm going to paste again. And instead of dashboard co copy, we're going to call this blog. And then within the page.jsx within my blog, we're just going to return blog page and export default function. We'll call it blog. And then going back to my shop, export default function shop. All right. So we should have our different routes here. So if I go to NPM run dev here, and then this, this looks like it is successfully running here. So if I go to my browser, localhost 3000, you can see that I have just my blank next app. And if I go to my different routes here, like dashboard, you see, I go to the dashboard page about I don't have an about page, so I get an error, which is correct. I was just testing that next JS, making sure that it, it works correctly. Blog and shop. So, okay, we have everything good to go here. Now let's go ahead and add some different route groups here for organization purposes. And let's first add something to our root to layout here. So let's just add something like super dumb, just so we could see it as an example. So in my layout.js, let's just render out like a fake nav bar here or a fake header or maybe just like a button to go back to the home page yeah let's just do that that's the easiest thing and i think that we're going to focus on route groups here we don't need to focus on like uh css and stuff like that so let's just render out a button here and i'm going to just say this is a button so we've rendered this out within our root layout here. So we should see this is a button on the shop page. And we should see it on the dashboard page. And we should see it at our home route. We do see this is a button. So uh, very fancy, good looking button there. But what if I have a situation in which, let's say for one, let's just handle the first case in which I want to organize I want to organize my, my blog and my dashboard into a marketing folder. And I want to place my shop. I want to place that in a sales folder. I don't know. We're going to do things a little bit differently and just kind of see how that goes. So let's add a new folder here and let's add parenthesis marketing parenthesis. And then I'm going to move my blog up in to my marketing folder here. I'm gonna move my dashboard within my marketing folder as well. So now you can see within this marketing folder, I have blog and dashboard. And then I'm gonna create another new folder and I'm gonna name this parenthesis shop, whoops, parenthesis shop parenthesis. And we're gonna move this shop folder into my shop directory and i just remembered i was going to actually name this sales so i'm going to name this instead of parenthesis shop parenthesis sales so we have our sales in marketing folders and within marketing we have dashboard and blog and within sales we just have our shop folder so if i go back to my app here i should still be able to just go to blog and see my blog page and see this is a button and as you can see, I don't need to go to forward slash marketing. I spelled that wrong. Marketing forward slash blog. That's actually going to be an error. This doesn't exist because this is just a route group. It's not affecting my URL path here. And I should also be able to go to shop, which I can just find. And I forget the name of the other one. I think it was dashboard. And I can do that just fine as well. So you can see adding these route groups allow me to organize my project here without actually affecting my URL path. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit different layouts to each one of these. So instead of having my, my root layout here, let's go ahead and I only want my button within my my blog and dashboard routes here. I don't want my button 
within my shop route. So the way that I can do this here is I can just take this layout.js file and let's just move it up into my marketing folder here. So now it's in my marketing route to group and let's kind of just rename this a little bit. So instead of root layout, let's say marketing root layout. And this isn't going to actually make a difference here, but it will uh, just be a bit better naming convention. So this works well for this, but then let's say I also want to add another layout to my shop page and let's, we'll add something stupid to this. I don't know. So let's go into my sales folder and I'm going to add a layout.js file here. And then to do this, I'm going to export default function. We're going to go sales root lay layout. And then for your layouts, I have a full video on layouts, but you're going to be passed a children prop, which you need to make sure to return because this is going to be all of your, basically your, all of your pages and all of that within your, this layout here. So you need to make sure to return that. And then we're just going to return. Well, let's return a react fragment and I don't know, let's, let's just do a big H1 saying this is my sales root layout. And then we're also going to make sure to render out the children within it. And this is editor Ryan here. So I should have included in this layout, I should have kept my HTML and body tags in this. So I should have returned an HTML and body tag as well. Since I'm using two separate root layouts, that's what Next.js recommends. And they also recommend that if you don't have a root layout and you're just defining layouts, like I am here, multiple ones inside my different route groups, they also recommend that you have a page.js file immediately within that route group. It didn't seem to matter here, but if you're kind of implementing this, that is something to consider in which they recommend. So I'll just kind of consult the docs for your use case. But just wanted to make those couple of notes here. If I didn't miss anything up here, what we should now see is that this marketing route layout is only applied to my blog and dashboard folder. And then this layout right here is only applied to my sales route layout or my shop page right here. And I think there's maybe one one thing I have to clean up here. So um, I, I'm trying to import dot slash global CSS here. I don't think this is the correct path anymore and just add dot dot slash globals dot CSS for that. So now if I go to my application here, so I'm here in my dashboard page, I still see this is a button here. So I still see this layout. And if I go to my blog, I should still see this is a button. So I'm sharing that layout across both of those. And then if I go to my shop page here, I should see this is my sales route layout. And I actually don't see that kind of black background anymore because I didn't import my global CSS into this file either. So that is a way you can add route groups to your application and how you can add two different route layouts and how you can just use these route groups to apply different layouts to route segments without affecting the other ones as well. So route groups, super useful for kind of like organization and your layouts and different things like that. So coming up next year, we're going to continue on with our Next.js tutorials here and get into dynamic routes, loading UI, error handling, and much more. So thanks for tuning into this, and I'll see you in that next one.